is a is a hundred forty four. You've seen you've seen this in the other video. This is the one I got from my grandfather when I was twelve years old. From my mother's side, actually, this is another hundred and forty four, but in a newer style. This is from my grandfather on my father's side. You can see this one has a really nice flexible nib. And we, 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 this is a Mont Blanc 146. I fine-tuned this pen to a, a very sharp line. Now we take a look at a 149. This is a pen with a kind of a ballpoint, so it doesn't show that much of a personality. Uh, now let's take let's take a look at two Monte Rosa pens, which were the line for for the school of Mont Blanc. This is a Monte Rosa with a left oblique nib. This is absolutely different to the browser nib, which is right oblique. All calligraphers prefer, uh, if, 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 if not a straight nib, they prefer a right oblique lib, nib, whereas in fountain pens most of, of them have left oblique nibs. This is another another uh, Monte Rosa with a ball point nib and again this with a left oblique lift lit nib. This is this is a, a different kind of uh, aesthetic in in the in the 60s when more and more people used to write with with uh, ball points or this kind of roller ball people were kind of used to to this kind of lettering so the manufacturers this is a Mont Blanc Noblesse you can see there is actually no no difference in in the writing style or for example in this in this pen with a which which was the seventy from the seventy five anniversary oh let's dip that into the these are pens that uh, don't give much shading to the line. The same with this. This is the Mont Blanc number 14 from the from the 60s. You can see the line is practically the same. Very similar to the pen number Twelve. This is a little bit more pronunciated in the woods of the line, but uh, if you compare this to a to a hundred and thirty-four from the forties or from the thirties, you can see that this kind of 
lettering is a little bit more fun and if you, if you see how this pen reacts to the different amount of pressure you can see this is quite different from this pen which don't doesn't react to any amount of pressure oh yeah so so you have seen uh, quite a few different uh, styles of nibs and uh, for your own selection maybe you get some inspiration.